覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today we are reviewing Marvel Legends Wolverine and Lady Deadpool. Now, of course, this is the uh, Lady Dead, the Wolverine X23 version uh, when Wolverine or Logan was dead. So his daughter took over. So we'll look at these figures. We'll look at Lady Deadpool first. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, this is not the first Lady Deadpool I reviewed as a Marvel Select version as well. But we'll take a look at the Marvel Legends version. So she looks pretty good. You know, nothing fantastic. Uh, basic red color. Let's scoot this back a little bit. Um, she comes with two swords. However, there is no place to store her swords unless you want to do one of these numbers. Which is kind of shocking that they didn't put, you know storage for swords you know i mean it kind of works but still weird um i do like the hair very nice that they did that but it does feel really loose like that it will break off one day so that's a concern plus this right here looks like crap i'm not sure what happened there but other than that the face looks good the body style is actually not that bad either um, I actually do like this because for a while we were getting like all those teenage bodies where they weren't that great. I mean, this is okay. Um, but, uh, this is not a bad mold for a lady Deadpool. Um, articulation is pretty, you know, basic is for a female character. Nothing really special here. Her head can move up, down and all around like the other ones. Although she's a bit stiff. She has nice arm articulation, can raise her arms up pretty good. And of course they can go all the way around. So, Nothing really too fancy here. She's pretty basic. Um, she does come with an accessory. Um, we'll call him Head Pool. <laughs> and uh, the cool thing about this guy, I'll bring out the x band Deadpool from yesterday, or from the other day, is you can put him on bodies. So if you got like a zombified body or something like that that you want to make, he can actually fit and it'll look pretty cool. So I do like that. And that barely spans, but um, not a bad accessory. Um, does not come with a stand, which was, I believe, a weird choice. But, you know, nevertheless, uh, it's what it is. So that's Lady Deadpool and her accessories. Let's take a look at uh, Wolverine, a.k.a. X-23 Wolverine. So, I was really looking forward to this figure. Uh, very happy to have it. Because um, I like this costume on Laura. Uh, that's a real name. Um, it looks good on her. Um, there are some heavy paint issues and QC issues with this figure, though. Uh, I'm not sure why lately Marvel Legends has been having so many problems. Mine splitting right there. So, that's a problem. Um, but, it's what it is. Uh, so, that's one issue. Uh, she's also got a couple of paint blemishes. I might, might not even be able to find, there we go. Right there you can see a paint bloom and share. It's a little bit uh, dicey at the top. Some bleeding with the yellow, as you can see up there. Um, I mean, they're not going to be perfect, you know, but I picked out the best one. This was actually the best one they had. The other ones are really bad um, from what I noticed. But she's got good articulation, and she's even got her foot claws, which I really do dig. And you can take them out. Just has a giant gaping hole there, but it's still nice that you they included the claws that can be taken out. And they're actually pretty sharp for what they are, you know, as I was taking that out. Uh, I love the boots. Very Wolverine-ish, you know. Um, it just fits. She looks good in the costume. Um, I think they did a good job with the hair swaying in the wind. And she comes with another accessory. If I can get the head on. Sorry about that. She comes with an alternate head. Okay. I don't like this head for this body, but I do like the face. It's really quite nice. Really quite nice. I do like that very much. It's straight. It's more relaxed. So you don't have much head movement because of the hair. But I think it, 
I think it looks good. You can put that on like a civilian body and have her roam the streets without her claws out. Or put her on the head on this body. So we're going to compare these two as well. Let me get this head off first. And her peg's really small. So if you're wondering like how big it is, it's that that's it right there. So it's a very small head, small peg. There we go. So I like both of these. Uh, I know some people don't want to have two X23s or Wolverines. It just depends what you really want. I can't really say which one I prefer because I like both of them. Even though this one doesn't have the fit, foot, feet claws, it looks so cool. I mean, I love that face, the hair. She just got, she's got an attitude, you know. And we're just gonna put the the new newer head on this body if I can get it off. All right. So yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I actually like that. You know, more of a relaxed. I'm not getting ready to kill yet, but I'm going to pretty soon. Um, so I think it looks better on this body. It just seems to fit more. So last comparison, we'll look at the Marvel Select version of Lady Deadpool. Now, unfortunately for the Marvel Legends Deadpool, the Marvel Select Deadpool blows it out. I mean, it's not even close. It blows it the hell out. It's so much of disparity, it's not even funny. Um, for five dollars more, you get a bazooka, you get a stand, you get a stand for the head, and the head looks pretty gruesome when you care. Look at the both of them. One's more cartoonish, the other is just straight out of a horror flick. And this one spins as well. Not as just about the same as the other one. Um, she comes with holders for her swords. And doesn't that look lovely? She's got some extra guns that I don't have on her right now. Uh, just because uh, they're really big. Uh, she also has a knife right here. Um, see my review for the full details on all the stuff she comes with. The swords are painted very well. They sheathe in very nicely. I mean, all in all, like... The only thing wrong with this select is just it's out of scale for Marvel Legends. It's just a little bit too big when you compare an ex-Deadpool, for example. She's taller than him. So that's a problem. She's just an Amazon in her universe, you know. But I love how her suit looks like the Deadpool movie suit. And she's got all these straps on here. I mean, she's got an adult body. Um, yeah, she's banging. She's banging. I like, I like the wrinkles in the costume. Look at that. Um, this is just, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I bought it. You know, it's just that good of a figure. And if I had to, I, I really was not going to buy the Marvel Legend one, but it just fits in scale better. But I prefer the Select. So there you have it. We've seen uh, Marvel Legends take on Lady Deadpool. And we've seen Marvel Legends... Uh, X Force or excuse me, X Men, uh, Wolverine, uh, Laura McKinney version. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Until next time, peace.